this week at the Making Newsroom of the Murphy Center for Collaborative Journalism. As the nation goes to the polls Tuesday, Macon Big County's elected officials are in session, voice to hire overnight security for the Big County Courthouse, hire an additional assistant solicitor in the Solicitor General's office, and contact with a landscaping company to take over maintenance of more than 73 acres of Riverside Cemetery that the county acquired through a quick claim deed in July of last year. The county also wants to hire utility location services to protect underground mines during excavation. Also on the agenda, waiving taxes for the Housing Authority's revitalization of residences on Bobby Jones Street, spending nearly $400,000 for sidewalks at Barrington Hall, accepting a Dream of Homeland Security grant of $3,200 for personal protective equipment for the fire department, accepting park improvements from Habitat for Humanity for Lenora Estates, and the planting of a tree with a plaque in memory of Jackson Danny Bilbrey, who was killed in a hit-and-run crash in September. They will also vote on proposed appointments of preservationist Ethel Garlington to the Housing Authority, EMA's Robert McCord to the Retirement Board, and Commissioner Stanley Stewart to the Health Department. Jamaican Water Authority meets this week as they continue to look at options for a rate increase and will also monitor the Industrial Authority and the Downtown Macon Community Association for planning for the holidays and the Martin Luther King Jr. Board looking toward January's annual march. I'm civic journalist and senior fellow Liz Fabian. Have a great week. As always, you can learn more about these stories at our website, macon-newsroom.com. 